Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and uh, I'm Gebo the Shaman, and my channel is called Gebo the Shaman. Uh, <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be talking about Aries in the 7th house, and what it means when we have Aries in the 7th house in our birth chart. So that means that we are uh, someone with Aries in the 7th house would be a Libra ascendant. So. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my uh, my video on Libra Ascendant. That'll give you a bigger uh, a bigger picture on like everything that's going on in your, in your chart. So uh, before we we begin with that um, with the video, let's go ahead and I'd like to let you guys know that I'm having a currently currently having a uh, Vedic astrology sale. For Vedic astrology readings, you can find that at vincent.thunderwizard.com, and then up above that, I have uh, my course available, my self transformation course available. It's a course that's des designed to uh, trigger spiritual evolution, trigger spiritual awakening, and um, activate your energy body, your light body, and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, go ahead and check out patreon.com slash shaman and that's only like 45 bucks a month, so it's really not bad. And then also, I have some courses available here starting at 20 bucks. Um, at, uh, you can go here to my to check out my courses, my guided meditations, and my mantras, and stuff like that. They're available at gebotheshaman.gumroad.com. So you can check that out there. Also, um, yeah, just go ahead and uh, also just go ahead and like and subscribe and all that good stuff and click that bell button before we we begin. So uh, I clearly can't talk today. So I grab a drink of water. All right, guys. So let's talk about um, what are we talking about today? Libra in the seventh house. That's right. Or <laughs> sorry, Aries in the seventh house. Libra ascended. Yep. Okay. So Aries in the seventh house. So in order to understand this position, we need to learn what uh, Aries means. And Aries is basically the sign of the warrior, it's the sign of like masculine energy, it's the sign of um, you know, sports, athleticism, competition, drive, motivation, passion, all kinds of great things. So, um, so yeah, so what is the seventh house? Well, the seventh house is naturally ruled by, or it's I should say, Libra is the natural seventh house. And so, um, so the seventh house is ruled by Venus. Yeah, it's ruled by Venus, and it's um, it's basically like um, it has a lot to do with your relationships, uh, relationships, marriages, um, legal contracts, uh, legal like business partnerships. Uh, like contractual par partnerships and things like that. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, um, it has a lot to do with like relationships and legal, legal stuff. So, <laughs> um, cause you know, a, a, like a marriage would be a legal partnership, legal, legal, like, <laughs> you know, has to do with, like, the law and stuff, anyway. So, um, the sign of Libra also has to do with other people, like, in general, just, like, you know, deal dealing with other people. Um, typically it would be in the marketplace, but, you know, it's, like, dealing with people in society and, and like, the legal, legal system and stuff like that. So, what happens when we have Mars in, uh, or, sorry, <laughs> Aries in the 7th house? So, um, 
Give me a sec. So Mars in the or Aries in the seventh house would be um you know it would be like um you have this very very aggressive energy this Mars energy this masculine ener energy warrior energy in the sign of relationships with others so <laughs> so I mean. This is not the best thing to to happen uh, because Aries just wants to be headstrong. It wants to kind of do its own thing and not worry about what others want to do or what others think. Or it doesn't want to consider others. And and the seventh house is all about others. So it's kind of you know because we have uh, Aries. It, Aries is the natural first house. So, it being in the seventh house, your chart is kind of flipped on its head. So, um, yeah, it's it's not the best sign. It's not the best placement. <laughs> but um, what what this can signify is you leading others. Actually, um, being a leader, being like a a teacher, being or not a teacher, but necessarily, but you know, being, being someone who's like the head of, you know, the, the relationship kind of thing. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it can, it can signify that you'll be like a, you know, I don't want to say a boss, but like, you know, it's kind of like the warrior, you know, lead. It's almost like a warrior leading others kind of thing where, well, and actually you'll have a lot of energy going into like, um, your, your like marriages and relationships and whatever. Um, it's kind of like, um, you know, you'll, you'll just have a lot of like aggressive energy here, a lot of passion here. Um, so this also significates, <laughs> I can't talk today, this also significates, uh, signifies, um, like kind of your relationship with your, your spouse. So, uh, that can either go, <laughs> that can go one of two ways. I mean, with Aries here, it's it's going to either be very passionate, like very passionate and very loving and like over the top passionate kind of stuff, or it can be very, mm, very violent or, <laughs> you know, like, uh, or, or like you'll have this like competitive nature with, with your spouse or like this, like, you know, your spouse wanting to be the head of the, you know, the head of the pack, the leader of the relationship kind of thing. And so, I mean, there's, there's a sign where the, there's like a, there's a pro, it become, it basically becomes a problem when the, the aggressiveness and the, the, you know, aggression, aggression and, and the, the take chargeness um, becomes like unbalanced and it becomes over the top. And so you can have this when you have, um, when you have Libra and or Aries in the seventh house. Yeah. So, so what, so like, we really need to look at the other planets that are going on here. Like what's, uh, like I would look at where Mars is placed to get a better understanding. Um, if it's placed in the ninth house, then there could be <laughs> lots of arguments about philosophy and religion, you know, kind of stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, um, if it's placed in the, 
uh, I'm trying to think. That the, well, the tenth house would be natural arguments about work and and working too much and blah blah blah. But yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you get a picture of what it's all about, you know, it could be very romantic, very passionate, very, you know, sensual, very sexual, but it can also be very, um, argumentative and remember guys, the Aries is the sign of war, so, the, the sign of the warrior, so, <laughs> it can be, you know, passionate or it can be you know, going to war, like, you know, I like legal disputes with your spouse and stuff like that, like, like divorces and, and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, which is probably why I'm not married, because I'm a Libra Ascendant, <laughs> so, so yeah, um, so this has, has to do with your relationship with your spouse, like, how, like, it kind of sets the dynamic between you and your spouse, so. Yeah, uh, and Libra Ascendants tend to be the one that, the ones that, uh, you know, tend to smooth things over, balance things out, and stuff. So I really don't sense the aggression coming from us, Libra Ascendants. I, I sense the aggression coming from our spouse or whatever you know, business partners or, or stuff like that. And that's another thing, business partners, you gotta be careful with betrayal with your business partners. And I would have everything, you know, everything that, like all of their responsibilities need to be in, in writing on, in a contract, basically saying that this is what they commit to do. And, and this is what you commit to do. Because if it's not in writing, then you can kind of get screwed over. So, be careful with that. Alright guys, so I guess this does it for this video, and we will talk to you later. Go ahead and, uh, once again, check out the site here, vincent.thunderwizard.com. It's for my Vedic Astrology readings, they're 30% off right now. And go check out my courses, my self-transformation challenge. Um, it's only 45 bucks a month, or if you want to buy the whole thing, that's available down here at gumroad.com, or uh, gebothashaman.gumroad.com, and patreon.com slash gebothashaman. Okay guys, so we will talk to you next time. Peace.